When do you know when you need to upgrade your equipment? This is something I've been struggling with for a couple months now, where I updated a four-year-old, almost a five-year-old Windows laptop. It was a really beautiful laptop. It was a Samsung Series 9. Uh, I think they're called Active Books now, that line of notebooks. Anyhow, so it was one of the first SSD-based laptops out there, one of these Ultrabooks. Great device, and I recently upgraded it because it just couldn't handle editing videos over 720p. Even 720p videos it was having a difficult time with. So I was able to sell the laptop for about 25% of what it paid for it. But, you know, considering it was a four or five year old laptop, not bad. To be honest with you, I'm quite amazed that these days you can keep your laptops and your computers for that long. I remember back uh, many years ago when I would update my computers every two years religiously because computers were advancing so quickly and you did see significant performance gains even yearly sometimes. But uh, nowadays computers are so fast for most work that you do, you don't really need to upgrade so often, especially if you're doing coding and stuff, unless you're getting deep into um, creating virtual machines, uh, and maybe doing some heavy compiling, uh, you probably don't need to upgrade your laptop or your computer very often at all. You could be a great professional developer with a four-year-old laptop, and you'll be fine. F unfortunately for me, a big part of my work these days is in presentations and in videos. So I do lots of live webinars presenting my products, and so a lot of video streaming and my 2012 MacBook Pro is just like, it's just like overheats all the time. It's got all kinds of problems. When I'm powering two screens, I'm powering a 1080p and a 2K display. And it just gets pretty slaggy when I have more than two or, th two or three people in a video conference. So that's a problem. And I'm also having problems editing some videos. Like I can do it if I have no other apps open. But as soon as I have a couple of browsers open or something, I'm trying to edit 1080p. Forget about 4K. That's not going to happen. But 1080p, it causes me problems. So I talked about this before. I'm kind of reluctant to upgrade to the new MacBook Pros because they're so uh, expensive. They got all the ports gone. But I may have to bite the bullet on that. I'm not sure yet. I'm looking at other options. And for me specifically, it's just that because of the type of work I do, I have really heavy requirements with regards to my uh, computer needs. That said, uh, the good thing about computers these days, when you buy one, whatever you buy, whatever type of computer you buy today, whether it be a Mac or a Windows machine, they are so powerful these days, you can probably expect to keep them at least four years, unless you're like a mega power user. But beyond that, so uh, I had my MacBook, I have it still, my 2012 MacBook Pro, and we're almost in 2017, so it's not bad. So uh, four and a half years we're gonna hit about in January, so it's pretty good. And uh, so the new MacBook Pro for the configuration I want, very expensive, but if you figure you're gonna keep it for four years, five years, not so bad perhaps, I, I, we have to look at that. You know, when should you upgrade? I think you should upgrade when you see that your computer is starting to give you consistent problems in terms of your work. For instance, with me, the reason I'm even considering upgrading after four years is because I was doing webinars and it kept tanking, kept tanking, I had to restart. And I, I fortunately have my Windows Surface Pro 4, which is a fantastic computer, and it was able to handle it no problem. You know, it's a brand new computer, it's only a year old. So I plan on keeping that at least a couple more years. So that's what I'm faced with now. I know some people were critical. Well, why should you upgrade? Well, everybody's different. Everybody has a different need. For me, the main benchmark is when your computer starts getting in the way of your work, starts causing frustration, especially if you're doing creative work where you have to be in a good mindset to actually create, then it's time to look at upgrading. So... That's my criteria on that. So uh, there you go.